What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got another review unboxing for you. It's actually on another controller that I've been waiting on for quite a while, it's by Retro Fighters. It's the Defender gamepad. Now I went with the clear blue uh, color, it's really awesome. Um, it works on the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and also the PS3. I believe it also works on the PS Classic. Uh, can't wait to open this up, show you guys what it's all about, and also show you some gameplay. Um, I'm really excited to use this on my PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. So without further ado guys, here we go. So let's get into this here. So uh, again, this is by Retro Fighters. Uh, it does actually, you can read right, right there, it does actually work on the uh, PS1, PS2, PS3, PS Classic, like I said, the Switch and also the PC. Uh, it includes both USB uh, receivers for the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. Uh, it also has a range of 30 feet and then includes a USB charging cable. Alright, so here's the USB-C charging cable. Uh, that's pretty great that it's USB-C instead of the normal, you know, micro USB charging port there. Ah <clears throat> oh, man, look at that. Feels great. The buttons don't feel mushy or nothing like that. That color is just awesome. I mean, this, I don't know if this footage is doing any justice. Uh, the thumbsticks feel great. Okay, so you have, of course, your your different uh, triangle, circle, cross, and uh, square there, or X, or whatever you want to call it. You got your turbo, you got your clear, you got your select, start, and I'm pretty sure this is kind of like the learning button, but also I'm assuming on the switch it'll get you back to the main uh, menu there. Uh, you got your L1 and R2, feel good. R1, L1, feel good, and then I'm assuming these are the sync, and then you have this other button over here on the side here. Don't know what that means there. It kind of has like a fist on there. So, but I guess that's what the instructions are for. All right, I guess this is the uh, receivers here, or dongles if you want to call them. Oh, that is cool. So the receiver here, it actually matches the color of the controller. That's pretty neat. And then the USB receiver here. Okay, that's still pretty good anyways. Looks like gray. Awesome. I like when they have the covers here so that way you kind of protect it in case it's not plugged in. And then, got your instruction manual. That is nice. How it actually matches the color of the controller. Alrighty, so, uh, okay, of course you got your information on here and also you have to set up on the, uh, for the PS Classic and then the analog setup for the PS1, PS2. Um, it's pretty awesome. Alright guys, real quick, I uh, forgot to mention that, again, I do have the, uh, I guess it would be like the official Logitech uh, wireless controller for the PlayStation 2. Uh, now this is what I usually use on my PS2 when I'm playing. Um, the only problem with these is that actually it, uh, it uses AA batteries. Um, so you can see there's none in there right now. So that was kind of a drawback about these, as well as uh, trying to find these that actually work nowadays is very, very difficult. Uh, occasionally, uh, you'll find them out there in the wild and they actually be broken or maybe they, they would have a stick drift or something like that. Uh, and then also the D-pad was never really that great on these controllers. So I personally didn't really like them that much. Um, but this was the best way to play it before this controller came out. Um, so I again, this is my go to PS2 wireless controller, but it's probably gonna end up being this one, but we'll see how it goes on there. Now, on my PlayStation 1, I told you guys that I had a Mad Cats one. I actually picked this one up from my local game store. Um, it, <laughs> how do I, I mean, it's a Mad Cats, guys. Now, it is 2.4 uh, gigahertz as well. Um, 
it's just super small. I don't know if you could tell, look at it compared to the PlayStation 2 controller there. And then the new controller. See how like so tiny it is. I mean, you have to have like super small hands to use it. Um, I mean, it works great and all, but this one uses AAA batteries. Uh, so even kind of harder to, to kind of find around the house. Usually, you know, a lot of stuff has AA batteries uh, like this uh, controller over here for the Logitech one. Uh, but I just, I like this controller because again, it was wireless. Cause you know, for a fact that the original PlayStation 1 controllers didn't have very long cables. Uh, so it's, it was very hard for me to play it while sitting on my couch. So this was the best option at the time. But again, guys, I'm hoping this controller guys will be my new go-to for my PS1 and my PS2 fix. I'm really hoping guys, I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. So I'll tell you what, now let's get into the review and uh, my final thoughts. All right guys, so first up is gonna be Twisted Metal 2. Uh, now, this is one of my all-time favorites on the PlayStation. Uh, I always go with Outlaw for the most part. Um, it's uh, basically a car game where you actually get power-ups so you can uh, destroy the other cars that you have. Uh, you can see there you have six other uh, cars that you have to uh, uh, basically uh, fight with. Um, and then uh, once you uh, completely destroy all the cars, then you win the round. So. Um, it's a pretty great game, um, you know, if you never checked it out, uh, definitely check it out. Um, Twisted Metal in general is a great franchise, it's always been one of my favorites. Uh, okay, so there's Sweet Tooth there. Um, so, each uh, different car has its own uh, special abilities, you can see mine right there, it's the uh, siren. It does the electrical kind of thing to the uh, vehicles. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty great. Now, um, the controller feels great in the hands. Uh, I don't think this game had a vibration feature, rumble feature, so I really can't, uh, you know, test that out. Um, but I'm hoping, um, you know, in uh, the next game, maybe uh, I can test it out. But uh, as far as the controls go, everything feels great. Uh, I have no issues at all. Uh, the buttons don't feel like mushy or, or you know, very, very difficult to press. Uh, everything feels great. Uh, the uh, controller feels comfortable in my hand right now. Um, definitely plan on using this, like I said. Uh, now this little, uh, throw this in here. Now this little thing right here, now I'm destroying it because I can't drive for crap right now. Uh, it's been a while, guys, <laughs> since I played this game. Uh, so basically, uh, that little section right there, there's a special power-up, I believe, that if you get it, you can, um, and if there's somebody right by you, uh, enemy you can actually uh, make that actually electrocute the enemy uh, a lot better damage than uh, what my special move has but you know that's another thing uh, so there's axle there the one the two wheels and then thumper I think was next to uh, them and then uh, got to see here yeah I'm gonna be able to tell you all the characters let's see if I can do it uh, yeah there's axle again uh, see here just keep going around uh, now, guys, uh, let me know in the comments if you ever played this one. Oh, there's Mr. Grimm. Uh, let me know if you played this one. There's Thumper. The, it's kind of like a Hearst. Um, let me know if you played this one or any of the other ones. Uh, now, I also uh, played uh, the first one uh, and also uh, Suicide Metal Black uh, was a pretty good one. That one, I believe, was mostly online. Uh, there's Grasshopper. Um, was mostly online oh, they got me um but uh i believe the uh, next one might have been just the rig the one from uh, for the ps3 uh, which i have as well uh that one's pretty good too but i just you know i, I just like the old school uh, graphics and the old school stuff uh, i know that's not going to be uh some people's liking yeah this game probably hasn't uh, aged too well but uh, you know uh it's, it's a classics man you know you got you gotta you gotta uh, go back and play the classics sometimes and uh obviously it's not going to look as good as uh, new games but you know hey that's what we had at the time uh, and at the time it was a great graphics so um you know it's uh pretty fun to play these uh, especially i believe that uh, there's co-op as well like two-player uh, mode there um so you can do that as well on this game um yeah so far controller is good it's great i don't see anything issue there with that uh, let's see here. I'm gonna try to get a kill here, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to before uh, I switch over to the next game here. 
Let's see here. Come on. All right, guys. Sorry, you're probably gonna end up not seeing me get any kills here. Uh, come on. So I see Mr. Grimm is low. Axel's about halfway. I'm I'm almost low. But uh, anyways, well, I don't think I'm gonna get a kill, guys. But uh, before I move on to the next game, uh, like I said, guys, uh, this this controller works great with this game. Uh, it took me a little bit to kind of get used to uh, controlling the. Uh, car here uh, because it's been a while uh, but other than that all the buttons feel great uh, I don't see any issues uh, tell you what guys let me uh, get the other game ready to go here uh, it's gonna end up uh, uh, probably being a fighting game so um, let me see what, what I can probably pick up here um, once I uh, try to get this thumper can I get thumper oh come on oh yeah it's not gonna happen oh, I think I got him awesome all right, guys, so let's uh, go ahead and move on to the next game, and uh, we'll check it out here in about, how about now? <laughs> All right, so the next game is going to be uh, Tekken 3. I went ahead and picked this one. This is one of my, uh, another all-time favorite of mine, fighting game. Uh, the new one that's actually coming out is uh, definitely on my list to grab. Uh, I believe it's Tekken 8, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so the fighter I'm going to be using is Harang, uh, great fighter, uh, like him, he's one of my favorites on here. There's a few other ones that I use as well, uh, but uh, yeah, I know his moves quite well. So uh, majority of his moves is uh, leg based, uh, leg power based, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know exactly what the, uh, maybe, I guess like karate term it would be. So let me know in the comment section below if you know what that might be on there. Um, I want to say some of these characters are based off of actual karate uh, uh, styles and that kind of stuff so just let me know in the comment section below if you know what this might be uh, so okay there you go so I got him it's pretty mid light work of him but then again it's stage one um, guys I just want to mention too I forgot to uh, say earlier that on the controller the back has a button that you press to sync the controller up to whatever you're using you know like if you're using the PlayStation 1 or two, you're gonna be using the adapter that comes with it. Um, so you're gonna have to sync it up to that and you gotta press the button in the back of the controller. Uh, I'll put a picture here uh, up in a second to show you where it's at. Uh, it's pretty simple, you just press the button on there and then uh, and then on the actual um, adapter and then you can sync it up like that. And then um, of course, if you're gonna use the Switch or the uh, PS1 Classic, you're gonna be using the USB one. So you just do the same thing on that. And then I'll actually show you on the controller has lights on the front uh, when it's connected. So that's a pretty neat little feature there. So uh, King actually is a more of like a wrestler style. <laughs> May like work to him. But um, but depending on who you fight uh, later on in the stages is uh, determines how more uh, difficult they are to uh, fight. So um, see, so I kind of made light work of uh, King there. But uh, let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you're thinking about picking up this controller or even if you've uh, played any of these two games here. Uh, so Tekken uh, 1 and Tekken 2 are great, but for some reason, Part 3 just kind of made more of a, a fun, uh, I don't know, the way it was set up, it was just a lot um, funner to play. So uh, same thing with uh, Twisted Metal 2. For some reason, I played the first one. Uh, the third one was okay. Uh, I think they changed the uh, developer on that one, so I i kind of wasn't into it that much but uh you know of course like i said uh, earlier the other ones uh, that came out were pretty great uh but uh excited for tekken 8 uh can't wait to see um, how it plays now it definitely has a lot better graphics than of course uh, these graphics here but uh definitely want to check that out as well guys so check out the videos for the uh, trailers for the uh, tekken 8 game it's uh, pretty awesome so um Guys, uh, like I said, the uh, controller, it's great. Uh, I don't feel any kind of lag or anything like that. Definitely a must if you have a, a PlayStation 1, the uh, the little mini version of it with the screen. Uh, it's gonna be a plus for me to actually take it with me so that way I can play uh, my games uh, wirelessly, remotely, that kind of stuff, compared to before when I actually took the wired controller, so I kinda had to keep it close by, but now I can actually put it a little bit further back. And as well as a switch as well, using this controller on the switch, uh, checking that out as well. So that's gonna be a plot positive to play uh, with the uh, switch there. Now guys, uh, let me know in the comment section below if you ever actually played 
uh, or I'm sorry, used any of the uh, Retro Fighters controllers because they are actually pretty well made and good quality controllers, I think. So I'll put a link in the description below if you want to pick one up, one of these up, or any of the other, uh, you know, controllers they have on there. So definitely a must. So let me see if I can. Oh man, I think he has me. He has me. He has me. Nope. Yeah, he got me. <laughs> so uh, we'll try it again one more time. See if we can get him here. So we'll just go ahead and continue. Uh, now Law is uh, fairly familiar to somebody that uh, a lot of people know. Bruce Lee. I think they modeled it after him. Uh, great with his uh, punches and also uh, has a little bit of kicking power as well but uh, let's see if I can get on this round here like I said guys uh, once it starts getting past stage five uh, it starts getting a little bit more difficult so you kind of kind of make sure you're paying attention and you, your uh, punches or kicks or whatever character you're using uh, lands because uh, it definitely gets a little bit more trickier to try to win in the later rounds and now another good thing about this is once you actually do uh, beat all the stages which I believe is 10 stages um, you'll get to see a cutscene with the character some of them are pretty funny some of them are or uh, are just kind of like uh, serious uh, style nature and stuff like that but it's pretty neat uh, and it's kind of like I guess you would call it like a like a not like a CGI but kind of like a cartoonish kind of thing but with the characters uh, not not so much like uh, the way they are now but like a little bit more smoother but it's just kind of kind of interesting to see how they did it back then with the uh, the software and stuff like that for the games uh, to set it up like that to where I uh, got him and that was a nice kick all right guys so final thoughts I'm um, saying go out there and get one um, definitely if you play PlayStation a lot of original PlayStation PlayStation 2 um, switch whatever you want to do uh, if you want a, a great controller for the switch a uh, more reasonable controller that um, other than the uh, pro controller for the switch that has vibration feature pick one up if you get a chance uh, it's a great controller i like the controls from retro fighters um, another thing too guys i want to mention is that the triggers are have a little bit of tension in the trigger uh buttons so i like that personally but uh some people some of y'all might not but i just want to give you a heads up on that but other than that the rest of the uh, controller is great the buttons feel great uh the d-pad is actually pretty good the uh, analog sticks are great so uh guys if you get a chance go pick one up uh check out their other controllers as well i think they have some pretty neat stuff hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel and make sure you hit that bell icon in the corner so that way you don't miss any of my future videos and while you're here check out my other video game related content on the channel i got some great stuff on here reviews and unboxings and stuff like that so go check it out if you get a chance really appreciate it that being said We'll see you next time.